Okay, so just to demonstrate that my theory is this is a decent battery that we're going to hook up. And uh, it's not one that I bought new, but every one that I've gotten is will sit at 13 volts for 30 days at least. And uh, I have loaded it down a bit. Not enough, so once again I'm kind of guilty of not doing a proper demonstration is showing something charged from 11.5 or so so I will tomorrow try that out <laughs> anyways there you have a battery sitting at 12.37 it might climb up a little bit because I was loading it what I'm loading it with is a 20 watt incandescent lamp so um, you know about an amp and a half eh? yeah, although I've got some pretty thin wire there so might be a little restricted so see it's actually still climbing and it's recovering you can see that's what it recovered too right so that's actually a good sign of a good battery too um, so there you have it it's about 12.38 we fire on the light and she drops but not stupidly she'll probably go to 12.13 or something and sit there for a bit already slowing down right so you know it's a reasonable ladder battery and it's not like it's not like this light is glowing dimly I mean here we are in a total dark room at night with the 20 watt light going right so you know and she's holding 12 point one three like I kind of figured she would she did last time so it's a decent battery, although not fully discharged. But let's let's plug it in and and uh, have a try at it and see what it's like. But I just wanted to demonstrate the fact that you know it's a pretty decent battery. And uh, what I'll do too is I'll, I'll show you it recover. I'll turn off the light. There she goes. Coming back up. All right, so we'll uh, we'll hook it up. Okay, so I'm back here, and uh, it's been about five or ten minutes. And what we have is the circuit that I was uh, using before the SSG with the five filer, except for I blew out a transistor. So we are now uh, a three T instead of a four T, and uh, one one uh, wind of the coil is just hanging loose, doing nothing. Um, it switched over to the uh, to the uh, Tesla switch 24 volt charging 12 volt configuration so there's my voltage on these two batteries here is uh, 25.6 those two are in series there's the ammeter coming out of there over here we have the charge battery that I demonstrated under load there and you can see it's recovered to 12.42 and that's the ammeter that's going to read the uh, juice going in all right, so let's fire it up, see what happens. Hopefully I don't blow anything up, but if I do, I, I will post it. Because that's part of the fun. She's oscillating. And she's charging. I freaking break that speed. Of course, I need to do this from 11.5 volts but, uh, so what do we got we got I can read almost exactly 200 milliamps at 25.3 and I'm showing Pretty much 400 milliamps okay and she is still charging <coughs> a little harder to do the math in my head Just slow it down a bit there now. So let's take it up a little bit. Oh, 
Now isn't that interesting? I took up the frequency a bit. So I still can't even hear my call yet. And it jumped quite a bit over there. Well, not so much, I guess. It's a different scale. Yeah, that's what really throws you for a loop. Let's take it up till we're putting 500 milliamps into the battery. Try to get that as even as possible. Okay, so now we're doing that at the cost of... Oh, I'm going to say... Two, between 260 and 270 probably. We're up a little past that, that uh, midline. Okay. And we're getting a more, more profound charging effect. Excuse me, I got a <coughs> black gold. So it is working. And I'm still not even really... There you have it. Let's crank it right up for a minute and just see what happens. Okay, so now I can sort of hear it. So I'm taking down one, two, three, four hundred milliamps out of my 24, and I'm putting in. Six seven hundred and fifteen milliamps. She's charging like a mad dog. There you have it. That's not gonna go away of course, but I don't know how far I should go with this. These aren't warm yet. Let's dump an air up into it and see what happens. So now I'm sitting at oh, 500 and real close to 600. That's closer to my perspective right there. 24, 9, 12, 9. Okay, so here we are, about a half an hour later. She did kind of slow down on the charging a little bit there for a while. But I mean, hey, the whole thing's only been running for, I don't know, 30 or 40, maybe 45 minutes. Voltage over here is still 24.9. We're still at about. Oh, I'm, I, I tweaked. I've, I've tweaked it a little bit, so it's. Or maybe at like six hundred and six hundred and just over six hundred milliamps. That's probably the true representation right there. Over here, where all I wanted to do was get it bang on one and thirteen. Alright, well, you know, one thing I've noticed about this circuit is, is that I got like no heat on my coil at all, and way less heat on my base resistance than a typical SSG. So I gotta say from that perspective, and the fact that the numbers that I just showed you were, you know, if you want to believe these meters, I'm not saying that these meters are accurate, but if you want to believe them, you're looking at 88-90% efficiency. Um, but anyways, what the fuck? Let's dump it into the basement and see where it'll go. Alright. Here goes nothing if I fry something. Oh, well. That's part of the fun too, right? Look at that, eh? See, that's what I had a real hard time doing with the SSG was pushing some current. Okay, so now at that frequency... We're, uh, we're at what, oh, 870 milliamps, 860 milliamps maybe, 
at 24.7 and we're at an amp and a half and our charging jumped up hey man that's not bad for three transistors two amps going into the battery right now two amps at 13.35 and uh, right about 11.70 look at it go away eh? and yet no real heat So this is uh, this is quite a lot better, even you know just from a functionality point of view. Cool. There you have it. Two amps dumping into the battery and like that. And that's still not even at the bottom of the pot. frequency still pretty high I don't know I gotta start monitoring my frequencies a little more but that's very cool special thanks to the 49er there for all your help I can't really see looking back to be honest and that's why Bedini has 24 volt adapters on his equipment that he sells to the public <laughs> alrighty thanks for watching